Well, no, I just when I think of Space Jam, even even though I grew up, even though that was our childhood, we watched. Space I love that Jam. Movie. It's, it's like, classic. It's pretty gangster. After that movie came out, he came back. Maybe? He came back and won three more rings. Ninety six. Come on, son. So. Well, LeBron's gonna draw Space Jam so and come back and win two more rings. So that means but he's playing against a bunch of bums. That though. means they made it in '95. <laughs> he played against a bunch of bums back. Talking about Michael Jordan? Yeah. Oh, shit. Let me ask you guys a question. Oh my god! <laughs> Here we Let go. Me just oh ask you a question. God. Hold on. Let me just ask you a question. The kid I, might be right. Hold on. <laughs> Game is on the line. Got the crowd shaking. Los Angeles Lakers never forsaken. All right, everybody. Boys, welcome back to another man. episode of Shots Taken. My name is David, and I'm back here with my man Zach. And the one, the only. And it's your boy, Big P, a.k.a. Mr. BPC TV, a.k.a. Mr. If You Don't Stop It, a.k.a. We're back from vacation. Zach's back from Tulum. I'm back from uh, Thailand. And David's back from Bangkok. <laughs> I had to go pick up Axel from Mexico. He was stranded out there. <laughs> yes, sir. Um, yeah, so if you guys are watching, make sure to like and subscribe. Help the channel grow. All right, you guys, let's get started. Like it and subscribe it. You dig? There you go. Cheers, you guys. It's for our pain after we just watched the Lakers lose. Yes, sir. And We're in the plan. This is for the plan. This is for the plan. This is a good celebration right here. Me. Isn't that I a like celebration? It. it is. Because I have hope, like Obama. <coughs> is that the second campaign? Hope? Or no? Yeah, it is. I thought it was change. Probably, change probably, was the first one. It was hopeful. I remember the Obey shirts, all right? No, it was just change. Those were change, yeah. All right. One thing I wish I would change, though, is the freaking playing tournament. Because the Lakers just lost to the Portland Trailblazers at the time of this recording. Hey, you know, whoever invented that, they need to get fired. Yep. That's what our homie Bron said. <laughs> um, yeah, so the Lakers lost to Trailblazers at the time of this recording. We are now sitting in the seventh slot. And there's no tiebreaker. So pretty much by the time of the end of the season, where we are in the standings, where we'll be. Um I guess I'll start with you, Zach. Are you worried for the Lakers? Full panic mode. Um, <laughs> God, yeah, I'm just, I already given up pretty much because I just don't see, I don't feel like how's Bron going to come back healthy at this point, right? What is, yeah, what especially because every injury, game's bro? desperate now. Like, Shit. I don't see Bron coming. I don't know if they're going to come back at full health. That's my main issue or my main worry. What is your guys' stance? Um, I'm just thinking Zach's really negative right now because Mr. Germany yeah. is out right now, and he has no hope because he's from Germany. Dennis Schroeder. My man, Dennis Schroeder is coming back, son, after this bullshit-ass um, safety protocol. The Illuminati is really playing us right now. <laughs> I'm talking about the Lakers, son. I don't know where the injuries are coming from, where the safety protocol is coming from, but they got to relax. LeBron has a lot of work to do now. He has a lot of work to do. When was the last time he's going to work a lot? Is this the same Cleveland? Is this the same shit as he did in Cleveland, no. or is this a little worse? No. He's got AD. What are you talking about? Oh, now he has AD. Why don't you say that before, fool? I thought you were worried, son. Okay, but I'm just saying, I don't think Bron is even going to come back. I, I, like, oh, he doesn't think Bron's going to come back. Well, I think Bronson Whip, Golden State's ass, Mavericks' ass, and who was the last one? Let me ask you. He's got it's a high ankle. Grizzlies and Spurs. And Gr all of them are done. Okay, I have a question. What's his injury? High ankle sprain? Yeah. Like, How long is he supposed to be out for? Well, they say he's supposed to be back he's Tuesday. Supposed to be back. He was supposed to just miss two games, and he missed this one. I don't know why, but he's supposed to come back um, next game. Yeah, because we play the Suns. All right, so I'm going to pull up. The so it's done. We have, to wait, we have to wait for play-ins now. No, no, no. We still got full. But what does that matter, son? So if we win, what? Listen, this is how many games we have. Listen. Left. We have against the Suns, against the Knicks. Rockets, Pacers, and Pelicans. We have five games left. Pacers, Pelicans. That's probably L's for us, or? So if we win those, what? The Rockets are like the only guaranteed one, I feel like. I feel like, yeah. And that's the championship banner game. The Knicks and Suns might beat us. Um, I think LeBron's supposed to come back either for, I'm guessing, that Rockets game when the championship banners. So that will give us three games to get ready for the playing tournament. So we're automatically in the playing tournament. Yes. Win just, or not. We just lost. We just lost. Today was the day. Tonight yes. was the As night. the time of the okay. recording, yes. Okay. All right. So we're in the playing. Unless, like, Blazers repeat, just lose every game for I, us. I repeat week. what I said. Um, We got it. If we're back to full health, everybody's on the squad. You dig? 
Dude, it's going to be a one game, though. Anything can happen in one game. We need like Jerry Dudley on the bench, too. I don't know where the hell that energy has been. Where's he? Where He's not. He hasn't been on the bench. I actually, I don't know. I haven't. See, yeah. You, yeah, fool. I've been looking for him, dog. Remember? <laughs> I've been tweeting that fool. I don't know where the hell is Jared Dudley. He, he needs responded? to bring that. He no, needs he, to bring that energy back, son. Hold on. You tweeted me. He hasn't responded yet. No, nah, he hasn't responded, dog. He has um thirty thousand followers and shit. Jared Dudley, if you're watching this, make sure to hit the subscribe button. Come on, it's your boy. He's for the people. He is. Nah, but remember, even Kuzma said that like the team is not even all together right now. It's not. Everybody's not practicing the same. LeBron's. He, I know, I understand LeBron's getting his rebound, his rehab in. He's always been like that, you know? Yeah, and then, like, AD's been playing kind of bad. This was probably his best game. This was his best game. Well, Denver. Denver, Denver was and, good. And it was good, but I'm saying this Portland game, he was, like, trying to carry us. But, you know, Kit, Kuz, Kuz missed a tiny I'll game I'll still shot. blame Kuzma. For, I'll, I'm going to blame Kuzma for this game. You dig? What? Why? The he missed fuck? a game. Because of, of that last play. When he we, the game time we had shot. like 30 seconds. And huh? he turned it over. He needed yeah. a few more shots. That's the problem. He didn't get enough shots. <laughs> well, he should have got the <laughs> enough like shots thing. during the second half. You dig? Which he didn't. So you're angry about his blonde hair? Slim Shady coming from? fucked it up. <laughs> fucked up this game. It's like only Dennis Shooter can rock the blonde or what? Dennis Shooter could do that. The Wiz. It's not oh, wasn't blonde. It was like the Wiz. Strip. He had oh, the, the Wiz. Strip. He has the Wiz Khalifa. He had the Wiz Khalifa. Um... I just want everybody back on the squad. They used um, to be hot back in the day. That, bi- that my boy, style. Big Toe didn't no, put in sure. work today. Oh, you still have that? You hey, have honestly. That yeah, I still got it right now. Hey, Drummond's big, been a, a big disappointment in my Big Toe been opinion. fucking up, man. Um, I was thinking he might regret coming to the Lakers. He's like, yo, I should have an easier path with fucking Brooklyn. They got me working. <laughs> They're like, damn, I got to play defense out here. I was like, what the fuck? Especially with at least man. ten fucking rebounds. Getting out, guy getting out, rebound and shit. Kuzma over here. I don't know, man. I have a question. What would you guys do if the Lakers didn't make the playoffs? How would this look on LeBron in eighties career? It would just be a wash. It wouldn't. Hurt. I don't think it would hurt their career. It would just be like, well, the, they had the shortest off season, so yeah. And, and Brown already laid the seeds down. He was like, look, I might not ever be the same after these injuries and shit like that. So, Sucks. but he's talking about this season though. Yeah, that's I why. mean, no, you know? no, I mean, Brown was saying long term. He was saying nah. well, the so like he's getting for older me, every year. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah, but yeah. for me, I was just when he said that, I'm thinking he was speaking of this season because of the short the short break that they had after winning. You dig? Half of the NBA was injured. I'll be honest, I'm pretty scared as a Lakers fan. I'm not scared yet. Let's say if we if we look bad in the playing. Hey, I'll run away like Kanye did <laughs> uh, and have a toast for the douchebags and the assholes. Will you go to a Clippers playoff game and root against them? Because their tickets no, will be $20, you know? Fuck no. <laughs> you get a $20 ticket. Well, if they play against one of my, you know, like a, like a, a, good a, like a, like like a Portland, I'll watch Carmelo you play. Right. Hell yeah, but Damn. I'm... I'll, I'll, at every Clipper game I've ever been to, I'm always Lakered out. So okay. does it even matter? And I've I will s- and I will sneak this cup in there. I swear to God. Hey, low key, if Lakers don't ah. make the playoffs, I would think Clippers are the favorites to win in the West. No, <sighs> no, I think so. Them or the Suns? Those are like the two picks I would choose. I got them. I, I don't know. I got Clippers getting taken out, bro. I knew. I didn't know Kawhi was gonna play against us yesterday either. No, I think like honestly, I think the Clippers are like the best matchup. For the Brooklyn Nets, if the Brooklyn Nets make the finals. Nah, they're getting taken out. What were the fucking odds of the Without Lakers? James Harden. Hey, what were the fucking odds of the Lakers were going to miss the playoffs, though? I don't think they're... On, I, think I don't know. If someone bet at that, if someone bet at that, yeah. Come I think on. we're going to make the playoffs. The play Yeah, I'm pretty sure, because we got to beat, like, the Warriors and... The and Kings ladies and gentlemen, why are my guys so negative right now, yo? I just think because we've been on a losing streak and Braun, our king, is like, he's out. Illuminati got us thinking really hard right now, but I got hope, like Barack Obama. All right, I guess we'll just have to wait and see. We still got, like, two weeks left of the season. Big fact, though. I will tell you what I am excited for. What are you excited for? We got our man from Chino Hills. Yes, sir. Back playing in Charlotte, North Carolina. Chino Hills, what up? Shout out to LaMelo Ball. 
Lamelo Ball, what up? He came back to reclaim his rookie of the year. Lonzo Ball, what up? But Lamelo Ball, LaMelo yes sir, Ball, yes. Man, do we think he's gonna get the rookie of the year though? You well, well, he's we, back to it. I think so. You, um, I, you gotta, you know, we gotta all vote. We gotta all cast our votes. Edwards, I don't even know Edward, when this shit's Edwards, open. Edwards is still hurt, right? No, he's playing. Oh, I mean, that was Wiseman. I'm sorry. No, yeah, Wiseman's out. Yeah, yeah, Edwards is killing it. So I'm kind of like, man, he he kind of has the. No. the I haven't heard the name in a minute, though. Because he plays for Minnesota, and they're trash. They're 14th in the West. <laughs> if it was me, I would honestly go LaMelo Ball. I'm going to pull up his stats right now. You're going to vote for him? You're going to vote for LaMelo? Yeah. Man. So the thing that's hurting LaMelo is that he only played 45 games so far. But in those 45 games, he's averaging 15, 5, and 6. Play like three games back, four games after after the injury? like No, he missed like a month. Yeah, but how many games have he played oh, already? Oh, yeah, like four. Yeah, he's back at it. And then bro. Anthony Edwards plays 66 games, and he's averaging 18-4-2. and two. Shout out my boy Terry Rozier, too. Not you sure. dig? Scary Terry. <laughs> nah, I got LaMelo so Ball boy. rookie yeah. of the year. I honestly don't even think it's close. What the hell? I never knew his middle name was LaFrance. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> I just seen that right now. LaMelo LaFrance Ball? LaFrance. Wow. Is that real? Yeah, that's real right there, son. Oh, wow. Might have to double check that. Oh, if you look at double it, he look like he's from France. He yeah. Does uh, uh, that one Wikipedia? caught me off guard? La France. I've never heard that. Oh, wow. That's a great name. Probably got that La name Mello. out there. I'm going to name my first dog that. Overseas. He got that name overseas. Oh, it is. LaMelo La France Ball. Sorry for sidetrack. Uh, I did not know that. Um, David didn't trust Google, but he still Googled it. <laughs> David got to relax. That's a little fun NBA fact. Right fun there. NBA fact, LaFrance, LaMelo LaFrance ball. But going back to that, do you think he's going to reclaim that rookie of the year or do you think they're going to give it to Anthony Edwards? How many games do they got left? Like five. <laughs> By the time this comes out, I like don't know. two. Yeah. yeah. I mean, it depends, right? Right. He's, he's playing nice. I think so. I think the only argument that they'll give Anthony Edwards is that he's played most of the games. Right. That's why I think he's gonna has the faith and and as of lately he's been putting up like stupid numbers like yeah plus yeah. 40, 40 games like Back 10, you know, all I want to see is Lamelo Ball be healthy and I just want to see him doing the flick of the wrist stupid <laughs> look at the flick of the wrist now he's, honestly he really hurt that wrist this is my argument for Anthony Edwards when Lamelo Ball was still healthy the Charlotte Hornets were a four seed he got hurt they ended up as an eight seed. Anthony yes. Edwards, he was trash in the beginning of the season. Then he started hooping, and guess where they're still at? Second to last place, or last place in the West. He has, le- he has a lesser impact on his team, but I right. like the duo of him and Cat in the future. But it's like, when is this? Sh- how long do these motherfuckers need, bro? Like D'Lo, they say D'Lo's been loading for how long? Man? <laughs> <laughs> Since he's got drafted. That was like 15, 2015. It's like 16, six years 16, ago. 16, oh, 16. 16, 16. There you go. Yeah, he's been loading for a long time, son. You you know what? You know what fucked him up, right? What? He was the first 6'9 swaggy after that P? Swaggy P and so Yeah. Like, swaggy P put the curse on him. The curse. I don't know. And then Cat, everyone's, remember how everyone used to say, I want to build my team around Cat? <laughs> yeah, every GM. <laughs> every GM. Every year they switch it up. Like, it was all oh, Jokic and then like, Luca and I don't know. I just remember Cat. And remember was Wiggins was in there too? Oh, wow. Yeah, see, so. It just tells you how much these GMs really know about basketball. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> nah, but honestly, do you think the Minnesota Timberwolves regret not drafting LaMelo Ball after this rookie season? Damn. Probably well, LaMelo, not, bro, because they're, I don't know. They would have probably been the number one pick. With D-Lo? I don't know, well, oh, yeah, that's the thing. Oh, so you're saying the fit would oh be better? Oh, my God. Can you imagine if that happened with D-Lo, though? Because he got kicked he got out for Lonzo. <laughs> and now they're bringing in LaMelo. And then LaMelo. So that would have been an interesting storyline for sure. What about uh, what about the Warriors? Because they had the second pick. Do you think they regret not choosing Lamelo? A little have to, bit. You have to say so. A little yeah. bit. Because imagine him and so. Steph. Come that would on. be like must watch. Lamelo's already must watch TV Wise, right now. Wiseman was ma- was matching the game though, matching that. Well, because they that, needed that a big. Golden State system. They yeah. just needed a big. Come on, he was matching that. Dude. Looney was hurt. Come on, dude. It, yeah. At that time, if they had Lamelo, and then let's just say next season it would be Lamelo with Steph and with uh, Clay. With Clay. Come it would have been good. Bro. It would have been a lot. It would have been. It would have been more of those. That would have been game over. It would have right been there. more of those forty. He would have probably had fifty points. 
every nah, game. Nah, I just think he'd be dropping dimes yes. to like Curry, Clay. That's what have like t- most, Oh, I thought you were saying Lamelo was gonna drop fifty. He's like, giving him no. no he's nah, giving Curry. dimes to Curry. Yeah, yeah. He, it yeah. would just catch and shoot yeah. off of Lamelo for sure. Right, with those damn catches, David has a spat, back spasm, guys. I like, know. um, like Anthony AD. Davis yesterday. Shit. So he's faking it. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine. I'm faking my my neck and my back. <laughs> nah, yeah, but shout out to Michael Jordan. He finally got one right. He got Lamelo Ball this off season. And shout out to you, Michael B. Jordan. You Tom know, Clancy joints coming out. Let me say this about Michael Jordan as a player. <laughs> uh huh. Not a fan. As, <laughs> as a GM, as or I'm sorry, as an owner, I love him. Really? I love Michael him as Jordan. An owner, yeah. As a hey, owner. I heard Michael Jordan doesn't like hip hop. What, what the, the fuck? fuck? <laughs> Personal jinx. No, you guys owe me <laughs> a soda. That handle back. No, nah, uh, but, uh, <laughs> but yeah, you guys nah, never, you guys never heard that. Of course, I, I never Jordan heard that. Michael Jordan doesn't fuck with hip hop, so. Nah, we already got you on camera. We're gonna cut that fart off. You hate Jordan? I'm just kidding. Love, yeah. <laughs> Who said that? I'm more of a Scotty Pippen fan. You're lying. Yeah. He has Backpack Jordan. Boys? He has Jordan's arm right now. Jordan, it's all no, good. And he watched a documentary <laughs> the all dance. seasons. He watched all seasons. He's just, he's okay. I'm a huge. Uh, I'm more of a Scotty Pippen guy. Are you like, serious? Yeah, like Backpack Boys and shit like that. Oh, uh, because the Holy Trees. <laughs> no, I'm playing. I'm joking. <laughs> He's joking, no, guys. Playing. He loves you with the Wizards, definitely. Oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah. What I that comment that I said, yeah. He doesn't fuck with. That's weird. Hey, I never thought I would hear that, yeah. especially because he's a goat. He's a goat, but he doesn't have to fuck with all genres, you know? That's true. You know? He likes jazz. Just like how fucking Zach disrespects him as a goat. I never yeah. knew that. I never knew that, Zach. I know. Uh, oh, he's pro LeBron, like pro like current players. Yeah, but I never yeah. knew that, Zach. Oh, I'm interesting. current players, yeah. Uh, what what Zach is saying, Jordan Michael Jordan's for the old heads. Is that what you're saying? Right, for the most part. Okay. Yeah. Like, even... <clears throat> so well, I want to hear your top three then. Can I hear your top three? Kobe, Braun, Shaq. All right. That's, That's a good one. That's my, uh, they're in my five. They're in my four. Well, Jordan's in there, of course. But continue, though. All right, sorry. Speaking no, of, I'm uh, sorry. Well, no, I just, when I think of Space Jam, even even I grew up, even though that was our childhood, we watched Space Jam. I love that movie. Jam, it's it's like, classic. Yeah. Talk about the music in that movie, too. I Believe I Could Fly. Wow. Space don't shout, out, don't wow. shout out the guy. But, I know. <laughs> wow. But at the but end, when, Jam? when he gets dropped off at the... Chicago Stadium mm-hmm. with the spaceship, son. And he was gonna play baseball and not score no, just get no hitters, just and then get striked out and all, all throughout the ninth inning. You know what's gangster about that movie? Is that after that, that movie that came baseball. out, That's why I mentioned that guy. After that movie came out, it was pretty gangster. After that movie came out, he came back. Maybe? He came back and won three more rings. Ninety six. Come on, son. So. Well, LeBron's gonna draw Space Jam so and come back and win two more rings. So that means but he's playing made, against a bunch of bums. That though. means they made it in '95. <laughs> he played against a bunch of bums back. Talking about Michael Jordan? Yeah. Oh, Let me ask you guys a question. Oh my God! <laughs> Here we Let go. Me just oh ask you a question. My God! Hold on. Let me just ask you a question. The kid I, might be right. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. The kid might be hold right. Hold on, though. No. Let the me. Jazz? Hold on. I just have a question. A random question. Has basketball since the '90s? Has it evolved or has it devolved? It's Old evolved. heads are going to say it evolved in a weaker way now because of the ref, all those calls. I feel like there's no more flopping like there this was. This era like relies more on skill, whereas back then was either athleticism or like physicality. Yeah, yeah it's, more, it's more of a mind game now. now. No, I feel like now it's more like skill, like. Like a lot of you players are more skill, skilled. So what the, well, yeah, no. look at our seven footers, man. Oh, stop. Shooting and then like Steph, Steph All right, then you know Kyrie, what? KD, seven feet, and he's LeBron like, had to go against Steph. LeBron, and you beat can't, him. no, bro, no. It was skilled in the no. back then, bro. No, because especially in the two thousands, dog. I'll tell you why. Pull up a picture of Lambert, big man. It was nothing <laughs> but big men. It was nothing about their no, game. It was about listen, their game, bro. Back then. Every player had a specific skill. So they had like a shooter that exactly. only shot. Everybody now, had their powers. Exactly. But now you have like five players on the court that could do everything. Curry fucked up the game, like Shaq said. Nah, hell no. Nah. I think he made it better. No, I'm not saying it. Not in a bad way, bro. He just nah. fucked it up by having everybody wanting to shoot threes. You got AD. No, at but the it's corner not even that. I'm not even saying when, that. You know? I'm saying like now you have guys that are like it's like back then when you see Magic, he was a 6'9 point guard. Now you see. Taller players being point guard like Jokic. What's LeBron's like superpower? Lamelo Ball is like six seven. He's a point guard. 
You see a lot of playmakers that are huge. Ben Simmons. Bro. You see a lot more often now than you did back what's then. What's LeBron's superpower to you? His what longevity? It, what? Oh, my God. No. <laughs> what do you what, mean superpower? What can he do on the court? Uh, he could do everything. No, he can't. Yes. What can't he do? He he could do everything, but he's not good at everything. He's good at taking it to the hole like a fucking train, like a bulldog. Like, you can't stop him when he's in the paint. I know, but I'm saying he's good at everything. He's good at scoring. He's good at rebounding. He's good at assists. He's good on defense. He's good on, like, and he's a good playmaker. He's I don't not know good he, at free throws, bro. He's he not that good free at throws, He's though. not good at threes. I think now he's good at threes, bro. Like, now no, he's he developed was, his game. He was better. No, he's better now than he ever was, I think. Like, starting from, like, 13, like, and on, he's 13. got good threes. Okay, there you go. Because remember, Pop was no, like, was yo, popping. make him shoot, and he was hitting every three. Don't disrespect our king. Hey, I'm not disrespecting. I'm just saying everybody still has that one force. <laughs> AD's not – what was AD good at last year, bro? He's Defense, not doing it anymore. Offense. Exactly, bro. That is that what you're saying? Because not, no. not what everybody could do, What bro. I'm saying is that players now – can do more than back then. Back then, and we're just bringing this because like, the evolving of the, of the NBA yes. of the game. Yeah, but look, like you brought in Dennis Rodman strictly for rebounding and defense, Facts. right? Facts. Now you have guys like Draymond. No, I'm not saying no, no. Draymond's Don't better. Skip I'm Metal not War say- Peace, son. Do not <laughs> skip Metal War Peace, Ron Artest. I'm not skipping him, but I'm saying as evil. I'm talking about current players. That's, that's why. Dennis, that's Dennis Rodman Jr. to me. Metal that War Peace. Defense, okay. Yeah. Okay. That's, but. Dennis, I mean, Metal World Peace could score, right? Before he was known as a defender, Not he was really. known. Yeah, he averaged like 20 points a game when he was defender. with the Houston Rockets. He was a top defender. He had the clutch three in the final. He had yeah. the clutch three. He's a scorer. And Kobe a, passed him the but, ball. Yeah, but I'm saying as time goes on, like, say, God. for instance, like Draymond, he's known as that defender, rebounder, defender. right? Defender. But now he could play make. He can't score, but he can play make, defend. There you go, David dissing uh Metal World Peace again. I'm not dissing Metal World Peace, fool. I'm talking I about current that players. Jersey. I'm bringing that jersey next time. I swear to God. I'm just saying now players can do more than just be a specialist back in the 90s. Oh, damn. No. All right. Because, so, all right. Skip the 2000. What about 2000s? How about that? What about 2000s? It was Th- that still game evolving. That game evolved. evolved. That game was talent, bro. The Tracy McGrady. Yeah, but that's when like, the all the Carters. freak athletes came in. A freak. Not, now David's calling them a freak. I'm not calling them freaks, fool. I'm saying... Freak, freak athleticism. That's like, that's thing. when everyone That's a superpower, could... son. Fool, that's I'm what s- I've been saying. Fool, I'm saying as far as, like, freak athlete, I don't mean I'm not calling you a freak. So I'm saying, like, I know, like bro. everyone no, I... in the league has, like, a 40-inch plus vertical. Nah, Iverson. But he was fast as fuck. Exactly. Iverson was fast. Uh huh. D Wade was a junior of him, but D Wade actually perfected that shit. He was fast and he can jump. Yes, and dunk. And then you had guys like Vince, Kobe. You got a bunch of athleticism. Like Shaq, for a big man, one being thing. that athletic. I think he only had one thing. He only had one power to be dominant in the paint. I'm saying, but it's evolving, right? Now you got now you see guys like Joel and Bead. Yeah. And Jokic. They yeah. can do everything. That's what I'm trying to That's say. That's a that is an upgraded Yao Ming. Sorry, Zach. I know we've been like going on this tag. Sorry, right? Zach. Yeah, I know hey. he's been listening. LeBron hey, Zach, didn't have hey. to go against these guys that we're all talking. Or I'm sorry, Jordan did it. Jordan, LeBron, did. Jordan did not. And LeBron have to go beat the Detroit yeah. Pistons that beat us in 04, son. No. Yeah, he did. No, he lost, son. That's how they went to the final. Oh, my Lord. 04? 05. 05. Yeah, LeBron beat him. Yeah. And that's when they were like, oh, shit, we really got to watch this kid. And that's when Spurs. So I feel like you're agreeing with our argument then, because we're saying that LeBron played tougher competition. Then who? Jordan. Michael Jordan. Yeah, Jordan played a bunch of bums. Nah, well, the the bad boy Pistons, obviously. Dennis Rodman was on their squad. He was the muscle of that squad too, though. Exactly until Dennis Rodman came to the Bulls, bro, and used him as a muscle. Nah, the only reason why I kind of disagree with Zach, though, is because Jordan didn't play against Magic, but towards the end of his career, which is an all-time great. Yeah. He's still considered the best point guard of all yeah. time. End of the career. Okay. 92? Yeah. He did play 92. against Kareem also, which was on that and team. Super end of the career. But Kareem is the all-time leading scorer, and his record still hasn't been broken, but it will be broken by they LeBron. They were good. They were good. So, Carl Malone, second all-time leading and, scorer. Yeah. And, and John Stockton is the all-time leading assist. All-star, leader. baby. So those are, like, legit players he's played against. Larry Bird. And John Stockton. I said John Stockton. Fuji I didn't hear it. Assist. 
I heard Stockton from like the Bay. Honestly, I agree with I um with um Joey Serring. Don't say no, that. no. Oh. With that. <laughs> I'm about to say, don't say Joey Serring. That geezer. Uh, that that geezer. With, uh, with Isaiah Thomas, the Pistons yeah, point those, guard, those when he said about Larry Bird, hey, if Larry Bird was a black player, he'd just be any other player. <laughs> nah, no, he hell no. Nah. And especially in today's age. So he you're dissing Larry Bird. Bird. No, 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 Larry Bird wouldn't nah. even exist. No, Zach, I, no, 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 I'm with, stop, stop, I'm with stop. Isaiah. I'm, no. I'm with uh, uh, I'm with Isaiah on that one. Right, he's nah. Brain, he's no, Zach is riding right away because Straight no, up. he would be someone. He would be half of the black players that he played hard against because that man was putting in too much work. Zach, nah. he was nice, but I'm just saying. I think the fact that he was because he was white. He was boosted up, no question about nah, that. Nah, hell no. Nah. Well, he was the only one popping. He was Boston? the only one popping. Oh, a, a white American star in Boston? What do you think? <laughs> no, nah, uh, the only reason why that? I'll counter that is because a, hist- a, a historically racist city. Keep no. in mind. <laughs> hey, or, how oh, racist that's not was true? It? But he did beat Magic and Kareem in he the did. finals. He did. They beat. They beat and Jordan he out. passed. And he beat those Piston teams. Nah, I give I give Larry Bird a lot of props. 80s. Anything That's I think right the there. fact that he is white is what makes it more impressive. And to me, he's all in one, bro. Because he was the last. He was probably realistically like I don't want to sound racist, but like he's probably the only great white player. American. I'm, we might need to cut that. <laughs> white American. White American. Because <laughs> Nowitzki. Oh, he's German. Well, that's, well, yeah, yeah. That's We're why the that. only greater white I don't want to sound racist. Wait, you why? don't, you say, though. Why would that be you racist? don't, bro. Why would that be racist? Well, Nash is Canadian. I'm talking about like white American. Why would that be racist? David, that was greatest. racist. What? Out here, we don't care if he's Canadian. Now he's white, son. Uh, his well, hair is like right here not, back when well, he was doing his shit. We might have to cut this part out. Okay. We don't. Bro. <laughs> I don't want to sound. I, I, don't I don't think that's racist. racist. We're not racist, bro. That bird is the greatest white American. I don't think that's racist. Yeah, bro. Oh, but we could. They could say, "Oh, that black guy, he's good." Come on, bro. No. Larry or Nash? Larry Bird's better. Larry than Bird. Um, no, I'm going Nash. Larry Bird. Who's a better player? I probably still take Bird. Yeah, I take Bird too. Bird. He was or a Steve Nash. He was a monster, dog. Come on, he was fighting too, dog. As far as white, I think the fact that he was a white American player, that's what made him a great. The like, last they great just, white American. They just got older at the end of the '80s. That's when Jordan no, but came. He in. was like, he was like. Think about it now. They beat Jordan. Who would you too. who would you put like comparable to him? That's white American. I can't. But now, I, yeah, no one. Exactly. Damn. And he was doing that like he was like I was about to say white chocolate, but white chocolate, you know. No. I mean, they compared Braun to Bird early on, like somewhat. Yeah. Like, early on. Well, now he's more of a Magic Johnson, so that's why yeah, I, I think he's he more comparable Magic to Johnson. Magic Johnson. But I just think Bird to in today's league, I don't know how like. He'd be like a Chandler. I feel like he'd be more like a Chandler Parsons. Oh, my, <laughs> my God. <Lord>. God. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> White America. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Someone get this, man. Hey. Oh and like Magic God, Johnson, bro. he would still work in today's NBA. I feel like more so than. I don't. Than, I think. The, I, I understand Burr was a better shooter, but. Than, than, he was than ahead Magic, of. They were but, both ahead of their time. Uh, yeah. They but were. Bird. Yeah. I think but, his mindset, you have to like. Like he's like. He was a dog. Like, he I was a like dog, was, bro. Tyler Parson, like, what he the was, fuck? He stole money from the NBA, pretty much. Why would no, you say Chandler Parson? No, they're good comp. That's he would be a Chandler. I would Parson say like Luca. I would compare him to oh Luca because Luca is like technically a white Euro <laughs> player and he's killing. And you're saying that Larry Bird wouldn't against like physicality players in the '80s was prime time was NBA. Physicality. That's why. I that's like, like when like, it was on the uprise. So I, like I give I give Bird props. That's a good point, though. I like the wow. Getting down. That's why Shannon Sharp hey. always says that Luca is like young bird. I like Even though I, we call him Saint Luca. I like, that. I like that. I like that. I can see on the assist. No, that fool would be like Chandler Parsons. Though, nah, some chill shit. out. Or uh, chill out. damn, like a Myers Leonard or some shit like that. That's so <laughs> disrespectful. Uh, <laughs> that is the most disrespectful thing I've heard on WhiteAmerica.com. Damn. Everyone's gonna be like, damn, these fools are all racist and shit. <laughs> hey, let's get it. Fight yeah. of the year. By the year. All right, you guys. Speaking of disrespecting legends, I got this video pulled up of oh, our man right, Jake bro. Paul going. Yeah, I got Mayweather. your hat. Absolutely, let's, 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 let's do it. Let's make it happen. Let's make it happen. Yes, sir. Get the pet work with his boy. Get, get Al Hannah. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me call Al Hannah. I'm my own boss. I'm my own boss. Got your hat. 
I got your hat. <laughs> All right, you guys. I know this is a basketball podcast, but no, stop we saying have... that's sports, son. All right, but we did mention we did mention the Logan Paul versus Mayweather. Because, I am because then harassed because then we... I chose that Mayweather was gonna be oh was gonna lose to Logan Paul. But after seeing this video, <laughs> I might have to change my position. Hey, when David always no, says that's not even that's not even the dude he's fighting though. I no, know, not, which is brother. why. I could either double down or I can change my position. No, you could just be right there exactly where you're because at, Because, listen, I could double down and be like, yo, Logan can go and avenge his brother after he got jumped by, like, all his security guards. And Mayweather checked him, too. He came him with, the, like, a nice uppercut game with a black eye. <laughs> I, I, so, he look, you think he did? Yeah, he got a black no, eye. Nah, it was just, he was just red. He was just hella red. I don't know. Whatever. But he, uh, got, he got touched. He didn't get touched. So, either I could double down for instead of $25, one. I can put $50 on Logan Paul. Put it. He could either avenge his brother. Odds, Plus like ten thousand or something no, like that. Put it. Um, yeah, it is. Are, are you doing it? Are, or a thousand? My bad. Hey, who are you doing it for? You doing it for Nate Robinson? Who are you doing that for? What do you mean? In honor of him, you're saying? You're saying in honor of Nate? No, I'm. I would vote Logan. But yeah, see, look, minus ten thousand. Wow. Oh, yeah. but they changed the odds. He's only plus two thousand. Damn. So that means if you put. 200 you would win four g's right or if you what put 100 it? what is it it's plus 2000 so if you put 100 oh, so bucks you win two yeah, g's yeah i might need to put 50 bucks there I you might. go i either could double down and be like yo logan go avenge your brother or i could be like yo mayweather said he was like he was gonna kill those his guys. brother said he was banned he was banned from the, the, the fight. fight now yeah so this could either go two ways mayweather wins and then the hype fight goes to them Right, and Mayweather got hair now. I don't know about that. He looked fifty was right. Fifty posted that he, he has a bunch of pubes on his face and his hair. Yeah. Like I, Mayweather needs to get that bald hair, like the no hair like zone again. He needs you to know? shave it for the fight. Yeah, because I think when he used to be fighting, like everything was slippery. The so wax would sweating. just slip off. Yeah, him. it would just yeah. slip off his head. Like now, like he might look like Carl, uh, Carl Malone if they hit him in the head. Like you get grazed and shit. What do you think, Zach? Um, I well, I seen they, uh, I seen a comment that said he looked like a, a lollipop dropped on a carpet or something. Oh. <laughs> or like, Who said that shit? A comment. Who I don't know. Who said like, that? It was, it was like a high liked comment or some shit oh, like that. Yeah. You know? That's so, a good one. I used to hate him when the lollipops used to fall. The Mexican lollipops. Like, like, oh my god! I was like, bruh. <laughs> they say that about Trey Young though too. Oh. <laughs> Little fake hair, huh? Yeah, he looks like he, like. He has a mop on his head. Now I'm just kind of like Trey. He's my fantasy player. Uh, so, yeah. What, what about you, Pat? What do you think? I think. Um, should I double down or should I like just not no, even. No, on you. You keep, keep, you know, put that $50 in, bro. I like, will say this, though. Do it. It's going to be a fire. It's not going to be like, you know. I shout think it's gonna go rounds. I will say shout out to Jake though, because he made this fight like a lot more like interesting. Because this is <laughs> he gave yeah. him, his brother gave him more promo than like they don't need no promoter, bro. They're the like the promoter right there. That was a big ass promotion right there, no, dog. Mayweather think, knows it too. He's one of the best promoters. I know, but too. I'm saying like just from them too, like they were gonna sell fights no matter what. But now, bro, that was a that was like a face off without. Logan being there, bro. Well, he was there, but like he didn't even steal the show. I didn't it was see his him. brother. I didn't see him. Exactly. It was about yeah, Jake. Yeah, I didn't see. I didn't see. That. I didn't see him, bro. It was yeah, about this Jake, was, right? This was the highlight. Like and now, everybody's on it. Everybody's making skits about it. Now that's hey, why the, the fight is like that funny skit I posted today. Oh yeah, the funny one. But you like, yeah, I seen it. <laughs> I like that. I that. Hilarious. Yeah, I like that. The Mike Ruger joint. I like that. Comment down below, you guys. Do you guys think I should double down? Bet fifty bucks on Logan. Nah, Brown. David's been saying that Cameron since Rick? um February. No, January since it came out since January. So you gotta keep keep him out where it is. Keep him. Keep my mouth where my ear is. Keep, <laughs> what you keep your tongue where your where keep your my mouth. Is. Put my money where my mouth is. Okay. Nah, fuck that. All right, I'm a I'm a I'm a bet fifty dollars then on Logan Paul. Thank you. Because if I win, everyone's like, "Damn, David, you're the fucking legend." I'm a legend. Like I'm you, might, like you might be a boxing stupid. promoter. You might be the new Don King. Stupid. This, uh, what are you saying? I'm gonna say that shit was staged. If that motherfucker wins, I'm gonna it, be like, oh. Uh, okay. But I mean, is this? It? It's an exhibition fight too. Yeah. So it's not. It doesn't affect. It his doesn't record. affect his record. So if he gets KO'd, 
The <laughs> internet will blow up. <laughs> he won't get KO'd. Yeah. I doubt it. I don't well, think maybe he'll get he's KO'd. A flop KO. It's like a, <laughs> yeah. You talk about angry public, though, man. You talk about millions of people being mad as fuck. I don't know. We'll see what happens. I want to see it, though. I do, too. Where's it going to be at? In Vegas? Yeah. Florida. Oh, Miami. Miami. Florida. At Florida. the Hard Rock. No, at the Hard Florida. Rock, Pops. At the Hard Rock. Should we, we fly to Florida? We could outside of it. We could just hang out. Oh, it's going to be in Florida. Shut up. Yeah. Yeah. Miami. In the Miami, stadium. Florida. Hard They're Rock. Football. Hard Rock Stadium, yeah. Oh, really? That's where I saw yeah. DMX, son. R.I.P. DMX. And he's wearing the shirt. I've seen that right there. Damn, what, are the, what are the odds of you wearing that shirt? Come on, and dog. The that. odds are very big. That means I have to gamble. Yeah. <laughs> it's a $50 it's a odd. All right. I know everyone's going to roast me like, damn, this food doesn't know nothing about boxing. Dog. I got to say every time because yeah, I yeah, know okay, people okay, are going to okay. shit on us. I'm not saying Logan's a better boxer uh, than Floyd Mayweather. You. I just want to win money. If I lose 50 bucks, I lose 50 bucks. If I win. No, nah, but you pulled up the odds, though. So it's like. Facts. Yeah. So some people, are, if you bet 5K, you're. That's what? 100K? The odds went lower. Imagine. Is that what it is? If you bet five thousand dollars, you win times two. The odds are plus two thousand. Every hundred dollars you bet, you win a thousand. Two thousand dollars. So five thousand will get you a hundred k. Yo, David keeps asking us Damn. about these numbers, son. Like I'm Albert Einstein. Nah, I'm I gotta put my relax. Life savings into that fool. <laughs> <laughs> nah, chill. All right, you guys. We're into the final topic of the day. Uh-oh, let's the get it. The best part. My favorite. Let's go. We're in our new segment. It's called NFT Pack Opening. Uh, what was it called? Uh, oh. Top Shots Taken? Top Shots Taken. There you okay. go. I blanked off of it. I don't know how I knew that. That was not staged at all. There you go. Yep. He read my mind. He knew yeah, what's up. Did. All right, you guys. So I got another base it pack. Base it pack or a series fucking two. Allspark? They're all Allsparks. So base it series all two. Spark. Release thirty three. Let's get this. Let's get this open. All right, you guys, open your pack. Have the sound. Open that Yu Gi Oh card. Yeah. Oh, it does. Nice. You got like three it. packs. Click to reveal. Wish me luck, everyone. You Remember, always, you always pick that one. So pick the like one on the nice right. Roll. I know. E the Atlanta Hawks. A block. Clint Capella. Oh, your guy. A. That is my guy him? from Fan. I'm keeping him for sure. Because of that? Because of fantasy. Oh, Let's check out this block. Oh, on Zion, too. I got to see how much this one's worth. Oh, my God. Damn, that's pretty hard. Ah. Interesting. That might be worth something. And they won. All right, you guys. Pack number two. Click to reveal. Let's go. E, the Chicago Bulls dunk. Zach Levine. Aw. Uh, I don't even know how to pronounce this guy's name. It's uh, Tomas Sadoransky. Yep. Mm -hmm. It's all right. It's all right because he almost dunked on LaMelo. That's why. Oh, nah, no. Who chill. was it? Stop that. <laughs> Who was it? It was on uh, Jalen McDaniels. All right, guys. For the final one of this series, let's click. Number three. Shaq. Brooklyn Kyrie. Let's go against <laughs> the Cavs. Let's see what this is. E, sauce. Ooh, ooh. Kobe shit. Look at that. That fadeaway. Awesome Kobe shit. Damn, that's beautiful. On Seti Osman. Kobe taught him that. And it's a low number. 744 out of 35,000. All right, you guys. Let's go ahead and uh, check out how much these packs are worth. That was a good one, boy. That was, I feel like this was good. Lowest cereal. That was a good one right there. All right, you guys. Let's go ahead and check out these moments. NFTs, baby. Hey, hey. Um, Let's so check I, out how much this pack is worth. Hey, so uh, I've been listening to other dollars. podcasts and shit, and they're already talking about NFTs. You know, they're already putting them on. Yeah. So I think we're in the future, son. Yeah, we're on it. So the clink up is four bucks. I don't think blocks are worth that much money. Yeah, I feel like we are ahead as far as NFTs. Thomas, four dollars also. Oh, and these are the cheapest ones you got, huh? Yeah. So, f but there were nice ones though, which I'm surprised. Yeah, what the fuck? Well, the Zion one. Wait, how much was the Kyrie worth? I'm checking right now. Oh, okay. Seven. $7. I feel like that one should be worth more, though. <laughs> but I have a low number, so the top sell was 80 bucks, So it could be worth a little bit more. All right, you guys. So hey. that's pretty good. But yes, shout out to our landlord, Jerry. Landlord Jerry, what up? He got us a special pack. Special pack. 
This is the first time we're ever opening. All the other ones first were time. Base sets. Chill, Pat. We got Hustle and Show. Fuck that. All right, you guys. Hustle and Show, NFT pack. Shout out to Landlord Jerry. This is his Hustle account. Hustle and Flow. Hustle and Show, foo. And then um, let's go. Good movie. Get rich that trends better. Shout out to Landlord Jerry. This is his. Better. Let's go ahead and crack this open. This one comes with five, right? I don't oh, four. I Another damn all spark. With and it comes with the all oh, five. Comes music. And it comes with Who's music. Who is this? Who is this? Oh snap! Okay. What was that? I like yeah. this song. Damn. Hustle and show. Who would know? Hustle and flow. I told you. Oh, I like this song though. I hate it. All right, you guys. First cube <laughs> of the hustle and show drop. A steal from the Cleveland Cavaliers. Colin Sexton. There you go. I haven't, I haven't heard of him in a minute. Let's go. They lost this game though, and it's a dunk. Oh really? They lost the game. That rarely happens when you get I, an yeah, NFT. I've never seen that. Yeah. That. Nice. He the future. He the, he's All right, still the future. Click to me. reveal number two. He's still the future to me. OKC layup. Shea. Oh, George Hill. In the OKC. Yeah, he's in OKC. Oh, that's pretty nice on AD. Oh, yeah. Bucks traded him all. Forgot about that. That's pretty solid. All right, you guys. Number three. David's doing it in a row. Jaden McDaniels. Nice rookie. I believe it was 15, right? It's a pretty solid dunk. All right. If I hit it, it wins. Nah, nah. I don't stop until All I right. Oh, this one has badges too. I wonder if we could put our own music to this. I don't know. Detroit Pistons? I don't know who this guy is, but I know he's a rookie too, I think. Diallo, he's from fucking um, OKC. The Pelicans. He played for OKC. I don't remember where he played for, but. Oh my lord. He played with Russell um, and PG in them. I don't remember. All right, last one, you guys. Ooh, Lakers, Kyle Kuzma. Oh, that was a good hey, one. Hey, let's go, Michael Porter. That was a good one. That was a good one. Hey. That was a good one. What a, a way unique, to end it, huh? Damn, cube. when life was great, huh? On Valentine's Day. <laughs> Is it like a, oh, no, it's a regular Yeah, cube? We lost that oh, yeah, game, too. Yeah. It's a, it. All right, you guys. Let's go ahead and check out this. You didn't, uh, even, check, you didn't even check all of them. Yes, I did, fool. I'm going to check the prices right now. This no, he for the last ones, Pat. So we didn't check. Oh, this boy got a hole. Oh, he, he left two hold. more. All the, all the. All right, you guys. So the George Hill four dollars. All right, let's see what else. The Kyle Kuzma. Let's see how much the Kyle Kuzma one goes for. Fourteen dollars, and the highest sold is three hundred. Why are those numbers <laughs> that way though? Like, is that shit even real? I have no idea. Let's check out Colin Sexton. Celtics lost to the Bulls today by 22. $31. Wow. Oh, wow. So that Colin Sexton won. $31. And then Jaden McDaniels. I'm pretty sure this one might be worth some too. $5. Yeah, oh, Snoop. all right. Snoop. And then Diallo. $4. And then shout out to Jerry. He has this LaMelo ball one that I wanted. Let's see how much it runs for. Sixty-two dollars. I need to buy that. Damn. I know it was seventy. Yeah, so it dropped a bit, but this is pretty fire. But all right, you guys. Well, thank you for tuning in to another episode of Shots Taken. Uh, make sure to like and subscribe. You can follow us on Instagram. Yes, We're sir. also on Apple and Spotify. Apple and Spotify. Make sure to uh, subscribe on YouTube. We're trying to get to 1,000 subscribers. Like and subscribe. Until next time. <laughs>